for your chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the gola, yeah, and you are not bad as beat. Keep on going till you hit the spot. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how I created some of these transitions and effects inspired by some viral videos that I've seen online recently. So for this first one, we have this house drop effect. I've done a similar tutorial on this before. This one's slightly different. So here is my original video clip. A nice gimbal shot starting really wide and then walking up to the front of the house. The first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste my video clip. So hold down option and click and drag up. On this top layer on the first frame, I'm going to hold down shift and press H. And this is going to create a freeze frame of this image. And then we can just trim the end off, hold down option and right bracket. We can make the freeze frame longer if you just click and drag this bit here. Now we need to save this as a still image. So if we go up to the export button up here and just click on JPEG, go to settings and just export this as a JPEG image. I'm doing this because we need to remove the house and fill in the background. Canva actually have a pretty good free editor which you can use. So we just need to drop our image into Canva and then open the image up and they have this magic edit effect. If we go to click here and just click on the house or click on the object you're trying to remove, then it's actually a really good little tool. You can also use a brush to fill in the gaps. Okay, so once we have the object painted, go over here to the text box and describe what we want to replace it with. So I'm just going to put in garden and then click generate. And then you can see the different images that it's created. It may take a few goes to get rid of the house completely, but it does a pretty good job of creating an image that we can use. What you can also do is click done and then use the magic eraser tool again to keep just getting rid of more of the image. So once I remove the house from the image, instead of just using a still image to create this effect like I did before, I used this Pika website to animate that still image and create like a little video clip. And this website also creates really crazy effects just using images. You can actually use this for free if you wanted to have a play around with it and see if it's something useful for your projects. So once I have that video, I'm going to drag it into my timeline. I need to reverse this. And I'm going to put this underneath our freeze frame here. So now we have this AI video clip going into the real video clip. Now I just need to animate this house drop effect. So on the freeze frame, if we go over to the effects tab and go down to mask and keying and add the draw mask effect onto this and just click and cut around the house. I'm just gonna do a rough edit on this. So now we just have the cut out of the house here. Now we need to animate it to drop down into the shot. So if we go to the transform tool here and go click on the drop down menu and go to crop and then select Ken Burns. And we want to make the start box the same size and drag it down below the house and just right click and go to ease in and then click done. And if we trim this down, we should have the house coming down into position like that. If we wanted to split the house in half, then what we can do is add another draw mask to this, add a mask around one half of the house and then copy and paste that layer. And on the top layer, we can go to that mask and click invert mask. And on the bottom layer, we can just drag this out slightly and then split the end of the video clip. And on this last little section here, just go down to crop and remove the crop. So now we have the two different layers of the house coming down from the top like that. And then we can select these right click and put them into a compound clip. So as the house hits the ground, I'm going to add some shake effects. So I'm going to go to my titles tab Go to adjustment layer. Adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a free plugin that you can download. I'll leave the link to it in the description. If I drag this onto my timeline and we can add effects to the adjustment layers and the effects will affect all of the layers of video underneath them. So they're really useful. On this adjustment layer, I'm going to add a shake effect. So over on my effects tab, go to shake. I'm going to use one of my effect presets on this the rumble shake effect. So if I add that to my adjustment layer and just change the settings slightly, I'm going to turn the amount up to a hundred and turn up the noisiness slightly. And then at the end, I'm just going to keyframe the amount down to zero. And then finally, we can add some motion blur over this to blend it all together. So over here in the titles tab, 
Let's go to motion blur. We add that over the top. You'll see how it adds some nice motion blur to the effect. We can also add some VFX behind the house by just dragging them in and moving them into position. I'll leave a link to the ones that I used in the description. So I just added these in and then faded them out with a crossfade and then created another layer for the house using the MRoto AI effect, just so that the VFX were behind the house. For the glowing outline effect, I used the house layer that I created. I copy it and pasted it and then went to my effects tab and added on the mask glow effect. I'll leave this link down in the description. And then I just added the mask glow paths clock wipe effect onto this. And then that created this outline effect around the house. Also keyframed the color and made sure to fade it in and out. Next up, we have this boomerang effect. So to create this, first of all, we need to speed up our video clip. So on this video clip here, let's hold down shift and press B on the keyboard. This will create this little speed ramp here. Now we need to go to the end of the video and create another speed ramp. So hold down shift and press B. On this middle portion, let's click the drop down menu and go to fast times 20. We can also click and drag this tab forward and backwards to speed it up. So after it speeds up, I'm going to copy and paste the video clip and right click, put it into a new compound clip. And on this video clip, if we go to the speed wheel here, click reverse clip. So now we have this nice speed ramp boomerang effect. Moving on to this nice zoom out transition through the painting. Here's my raw video clip, a nice gimbal shot pulling out from this painting and then sort of coming around the room. On this video, because I have stabilization turned on, I'm just going to right click and make it into a compound clip and then copy and paste it. This is just so that the stabilization doesn't move. So on this top video clip, I'm going to cut down the first portion. I'm going to use the M Roto AI effect and just click and create a mask around this painting and then go to the tracker and just track this mask forward and back. Up in the settings over here, I'm going to click mask video. And if you don't have this plugin, then you can just use a draw mask effect. It will just take a bit longer. Or you could just create a freeze frame and use a draw mask effect and it will just take the same amount of time. Now we just need to trim the original video clip so that we're just left with the painting. And on this mask, I'm going to invert it and then go to the crop tool and click the Ken Burns effect and make the start box nice and small and put it inside of the painting and just right click and make sure ease in is selected. Click done. Now we should have this zoom out from the painting. Now let's copy and paste this video clip. And on the bottom layer, let's invert the mask on the MRoto AI effect. Go to the crop tool again. And on the start box, let's just move the start box off to one side. So now the painting will slide on from the side. If we trim the bottom layer, then we can offset when that painting comes onto the screen. Now what we can do is drag all of these over the top of our previous video clip and just cut them and retime them to fit your video. So now we have this nice zoom out transition. We could also add a zoom out to the video clip behind just by trimming the end of the video clip behind it, going to the crop tool, go to the Ken Burns effect. And if we zoom out by 25% and make the end box a lot bigger like that, then that will add a zoom out effect to the video inside the painting. And on this video clip here, what I'm going to do is add another speed ramp to speed up this middle portion of the video. So if I press R on my keyboard and just select the whole middle portion, press shift and N, that will create two speed ramps for us. And we can just click and drag this middle portion and smooth out these tabs to create a nice smooth speed ramp. Now we have this nice zoom out transition. To finish off this transition, I used a light wipe effect on the painting. So first thing we need to do is copy and paste the video clip and just cut it down to where you want this effect to happen. Now I need to mask out the painting. I'm going to use the MRoto AI effect for this and just paint on the painting and then track the mask 
Over here in the output, let's click mask video. So now we're just left with the painting. If I go over to my effects tab again and go to the effects expansion pack, if you already have this pack, then you can download the pack again to get the updated effects. If we go down to light wipe here and just add the light wipe onto this and go to the start, we have these on screen controls and the one on the left is the start point of the light wipe and the one on the right, if we go to the end, the one on the right is the end point of this light wipe effect. So now we have that light wipe effect on the painting. Over here in the settings, we can change the width, also the angle, and we can also change the color on that too. That's gonna be it for part one of this video. In part two, I'll go through some more of the effects and transitions. So subscribe if you wanna see that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.